Hi, I'm Josh McCormick. This is Peter McCormick. I wrote a book called Helping is the Sales Pitch, and I'm working on updating it now to get a second edition out. Um, so I thought it might be an interesting idea to uh, do some, <clears throat> work through some ideas for the update uh, for different sections through video. Um, so uh, the first one I was thinking about <clears throat> was um, there was some discussion recently on a, a Twitter chat I was on uh, saying that uh, social selling is, uh, is nothing new. Um, I agree with that quite a bit. Um, and I'll tell you about somebody who uh, was definitely what would be known as a social seller today. Uh, they relied on relationships, referrals, word of mouth. Uh, they believed really strongly in listening and meeting needs and uh, rewarding uh, good relationships. Uh, this person also didn't like uh, working indoors. They liked to work out, you know, out or from the home. Um, <clears throat> they were very entrepreneurial. Um, and some would describe that as a millennial mindset. Well, this was my father. Uh, he was born in 1930, so uh, you know, a lot of these ideas are not novel. Now, if social selling is around for people like my father, why do we talk about it like it's something new? Well, it's getting back to basics. So the problem we had was back when my father was, was selling you had to work locally, you had to work through relationships. How else could you reach people? Unless you were paying for ads on TV or radio or something like that, or you know, other expensive uh, ways of reaching out to people. But now, particularly if a lot of your marketing efforts are through the internet, it's all too easy to be accessible to even billions of people. But the trick is, you're not really reaching billions of people. And that's where social selling comes in. Just to reach people, you have to, you have to make a personal connection. You have to build relationships. And with each relationship you build, you can get word of mouth, you can get referrals, and other people can see those conversations, be influenced by them, jump in, learn from them. So it's not really like you're just getting one customer at a time. You're really going to get more than that. And I would argue you will get more customers through relationship building, through talking to people, solving problems one at a time, being, being helpful, than you would if you wrote articles that are meant to solve gigantic problems uh, that are meant for millions of people to read because they're just not relevant. So sort of just sum it up. No, social selling isn't new. It's new problems came up that had to be addressed and are addressed through what people were doing already before, but they moved away from. Because, like I was talking about my father, I mean, when he was a salesman, he couldn't, you know, have a robo-dialing or an office full of people in India uh, uh, calling, you know, making leads. He, he couldn't have a website with a hundred different landing pages and you know, blog posts and all that sort of stuff. He had to just work by relationships, one at a time. So that's really what social selling is all about. It's coming back to basics. It's not trying to take over the world instantly. It's trying to make connections, make relationships, be helpful, be an asset, get that word of mouth, get the referrals. Thanks a lot.